So more sex stuff. More sex stuff. Let's go on with that. So another uh, news item crossed my desk. And this is another one. Landlord forced tenant to sign sex contract. So a landlord in Vegas named Alan Rothstein signed a sex contract with mom Cindy Torres and her children living on a week-to-week rental for housing. Now, these people, this, they were poor as fuck. And they were uh, approved for housing through Section 8. So these are very poor people, right? Very poor people. But everybody was shocked to see what they put in the contract for housing. So here we go. This is from the actual um, the actual contract right here. Not the Korean commercials on the side. Let me X those out so there's no uh, so they don't distract you. Luckily, it's not waifus today. But listen to this. There was a copy of the form. It was called direct consent for sexual intercourse and or fellatio or cunnilingus. So he's willing to go down on her. What a gentleman. What a gentleman. In fact, I want to put a poll in the chat. Down on her and down on him. Let's see, let's see if the ladies or the men have it today. Or if the sissy boys have it today. Got a poll in the chat. Your preference. So here we go. He kept a copy both on the internet and printed out in his renter forms file. So respondents hereby freely give their total consent to the initiator or earth. So he left it open for multiple people. He left it open for the gravy train for Drex to come in with his boys to engage in sexual activities with respondents with the understanding that the sexual intercourse as defined by the state of Nevada will occur. I don't think that Nevada defines intercourse for the purposes of a sex contract. I think they they define it for the purpose of sex crimes like the one you're about to commit or like getting that butt. Like getting that butt. That's a sex crime that is definitely defined under the the statutes. But this guy is an idiot. He goes, this consent and agreement is valid for a period of five years and does freely give implied consent to consecutive or concurrent. So things that are going on at the same time, sexual encounters between respondents and the initiators. It uh, It includes terms that range from the patiently inaccurate, respondents have not been forced into sexual activities under the threat of economic sanctions uh, unless he complies with the initiator's uh, requirement or request for sexual intercourse. And the last one here, which is respondent does not have a boyfriend or girlfriend or parent who is leaner, meaner, or more physically aggressive, owns firearms, or is more possessive than the initiators. This is the guy. This is the Chad. This is the Chad right here. This dude, Giga Chad. This is the property right here. Actually looks like a nice property. Like this is section eight. This is pretty fucking nice. I'm not gonna lie for section eight. Like this is not, I think a lot of people think like section eight is ghetto and like really bad quality and all that shit. But like, like, yeah, Section 8 or, like, low-income housing can actually be pretty nice. This is actually pretty nice right here. So, anyways, here's the dude with the pep with his uh, giant Pepe here, obviously. Sex contract. So, obviously, this guy got in some deep shit. Obviously, he's in trouble with the law. 